All right, now I'm going to talk about racemic epinephrine. Now, epinephrine, it's a sympathomimetic agonist, so we're going to mimic or mock or imitate the sympathetic nervous system. So think about what that might do to the rest of the body. As far as racemic epi, we're going to give this to patients with croup, with bronchiolitis, uh, maybe some strider from smoke inhalation, and we can give it to uh, folks with bronchial asthma that are refractory to our initial round of bronchodilators. Now, racemic epinephrine is usually packaged in little glass amps, ampules. I'm actually gonna deliver it through a neb chamber. So I'm gonna put 0.5 milliliters mixed with three milliliters of normal saline, connect my nebulizer assembly, flow to six to eight liters, and patients are gonna inhale this racemic epi. It's gonna be in a nebulized form. Of course, when I give a sympathomimetic, I'm gonna expect an increase in the pulse rate, I get some bronchodilation, but really in a roundabout way, I'm gonna be reducing the size of this inflammation of this swelling up here near the epiglottis. Croup, another name for croup is laryngeotracheal bronchitis. And as this nebulized epinephrine is absorbed in that tissue, I get the alpha one effect of the epi, little vasoconstriction in a roundabout way, I'm decreasing the, the size of that swelling. Now, when I give a sympathomimetic, again, I'm gonna have the patient on a heart monitor expect a higher heart rate. Maybe the patient might feel a little nervousness, possibly a headache. Keep it on that blood pressure, make sure it doesn't go too high. For patients over five kilograms, it was the 0.5 milliliters mixed with three milliliters of normal saline. For patients less than five kilograms, I'm gonna half dose that. I'll do 0.25 milliliters mixed with three milliliters of normal saline. And again, Neb, breathe it in. Remember epi, anytime we give epi, regardless of how we give it, it has a pretty short half-life, so I can't get too comfortable once I have an initial positive effect. That's gonna be a good thing, but I gotta continually reassess my patient because this epinephrine's not gonna last a real long time. Remember, I could be increasing uh, my cardio oxygen demand. Um, so again, uh, cardiac monitoring is gonna be imperative anytime I give a medication like this.